right, so clearly this works pretty well for dance music. I think it was pretty awesome. Um, and it worked well for classical music with the Vivaldi. Um, so now I'm going to try more relaxing spiritual music just to see what happens. <laughs> So what's happening here is, I mean, I just kind of made up a scale, but it goes anywhere between 50% reduction sensitivity to a 50% increase in sensitivity, and that's enough to make a pretty dramatic difference. So you can keep the volume at a regular level, um, but then adjust the sensitivity to make the lights look like they you want them to. Last thing about power supply. I'm using a 12 volt 1.5 amp wall wart. Um, in theory, because I'm using 300 ne mega, uh, 300 neopixels, each neopixel can take about 60 milliamps. Um, I would actually really need more than 10 amps of power supply. There's a couple things why this setup still works. Number one is in here I have a little DC-DC converter. It's converting the 12 volts to five volts. And in turn, because it's actually fairly efficient, instead of getting only 1.5 amps of current at five volts, I get about 3.5. So I already get halfway to my requirement. The other piece is within the software, I never turn it on all bright white, so I never have 300 pixels all white. It's actually, th the, the strobe is 300 pixels all gray, which is about 70%. The other thing about these wall warts is that um, they can actually take short bursts pretty easily without damage or fatigue. For designed to prevent long bursts of flashing. Now you could force it if you just played completely loud music right next to the microphone. But, um, fortunately that hasn't happened yet. And lastly, I put in 470 microfarads next to the 5 volt supply, which will also help support boost current um, during the strobes. In retrospect, I should put a bigger boost cap. But, for now, this is going to go in my niece's bedroom. She's not going to be blasting music so loud and worst case scenario is uh this wall wart 
dies and I send her another one. So anyways, that's it on Fire Supply. Thanks. So um, we saw a couple experiments. We saw one, the classical music, two, the kind of dance club music, three, some spiritual music. Classical music worked great. Dance music was awesome, I thought. Spiritual music, eh, not so good. Um, it was interesting, but I think there are a couple things I would do differently if I knew spiritual music was going to be the focus. Number one, most of the tones are at the lower registers. The reality is the higher frequencies are usually the harmonics um, from a timpani, snare drums, kind of the uh, the rock and louder music, dancey type of environment. So spiritual music doesn't have the higher tones. So what I would do is I would spread out the lower registers and kind of ignore the top registers so that you could see more variation. Um, yeah, more variation across the LED strip. The other piece is I felt like the brightness was pretty aggressive or the saturation. So I would probably tune it down so the colors weren't so aggressive. You know, you kind of want more glowing lights, not blinding lights. And I think you still got the bright blinding light look with the spiritual music. Um, which leads me to think of the next few add-ons I would make. Number one is I might add a Bluetooth module so I can control it with my phone. I would control the uh, sensitivity instead of having a specific knob. I would also have a toggle between different styles of music. So just like you would have with a equalizer um, on a stereo system to accommodate different types. I might also control how the chasing works. Sometimes you kind of want it to be static. Other times you are fine with it chasing when it gets loud, it adds some excitement. Um, and lastly, I think I would allow you to adjust the colors. So right now it's just kind of going equally across the rainbow. But if you wanted something that tended more towards red, um, we could tune that in the software. So there's